Hmm. Hello, hello, and welcome, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm bringing you a love message. How are you? Mwah, mwah, mwah. I miss you. Hey, what have you been up to? Are you trying to <laughs> trying to change the whole wide world? All the while, everybody else is trying to change you. Well, I don't think it's happening, man. Thank you for coming to my channel and being here with me. I so appreciate all your love and support. This is for Aries, someone rising Venus north out. Cross watchers are welcome, but I don't know how it'll turn out for you. Well, see, there, there you go. The first message, time. If you're trying too hard, give it time. Now, Pisces got that too. That's interesting. So somebody's pushing too hard on a relationship. And if you don't want to mess it up, take your time. Be, hold, contain your passions. We also have, excuse me, embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. We'll look into those in a second. What else for my beautiful Aries? What's going on with Aries? Someone rising Venus North Node. What's going on? Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and acceptance. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. That's for somebody who is in a relationship that's troubled. Don't try too hard. Maybe you need to let people come up with their own solutions and realize that you got something good going on. Somebody. Now, if you're single, we'll take a look. The cards will reveal what's coming towards you, okay? This is going to be a love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me a second. On the torch. Okay. Aries, Aries, Aries. Look. You know, we're not in control of everything, just ourselves, right, kids? We love you. This could uh, play both ways. Either way, the, my readings are also not gender-specific, unless they give that information to me. But right now, Aries, Aries. Clearing the air right now so that when I read this for my Aries, there'll be no interruptions spiritually, psychically, physically, or in any way whatsoever. As above, so below, everything unholy has got to go. Okay, Aries, clearing the air for you. Clearing the spirit, thank you so much. For my wonderful Aries. All right, doing a quick blessing, always. Seeking the face of the divine. Looking for the answers that are available the creative support that we need for building our families, our future relationships, creating new experiences, tapping into different realms and keeping it humble yet powerful, creating new life, coming from a positive heart space, working for what's good for everyone, just the one. Having a pure heart, seeking righteousness, positive outcomes, healing work. Coming to the table with truth, honesty, light, holiness, Purity. They will tell us what's going on, and I will let them. Thank you, Spirit, that you give me the privilege to read for my Aries people. I've been reading for my Aries people for four years on here. Some of you are coming back. Thank you for coming back. Some of you are new. Welcome in, my dears. It's going to be a good reading. I use Attract Love. Uh, I make, sell, make and sell these beautiful natural holy oils in water and you spray them on yourself. These are only $11 a piece. The Attract Love, whoops, I'm gonna have to fix that sprayer. I also have Clear Negativity. Clear Negativity, it's amazing. It's actually a triple sage. And then I have Sacred Anointing Spray, which is wonderful. Now this has been raised up because I gave everybody fair warning that it was going out for, this is beautiful stuff. Nagchampa Palo Santo Base. 
with other ingredients, sea salt, sweet grass. These are to destroy negativity and to revamp and rebuild your spiritual orb around you, to sanctify yourself for service, healing, prayer, anything that you're working on. My anointing oil will help you with that. The original recipe actually came with anointing oil, but I started utilizing um, high pH water in mine. I don't know if that was because of COVID or what it was, but anyway, it's a good it's a good plan and it works beautifully and is selling like crazy. You can go to my Etsy shop and um, you guys can take a look at. You can even order readings on there should you want one. Okay, here we go. Everything's in the box below. Aries. Hi, babies. Let's do this. So, Spirit, show me the energies that are... Um, one more on this one. Aries, someone rising, Venus. Aries, someone rising, Venus. Okay. So, the, the, uh, message, the primary energy over your reading right now is the Page of Swords. Page of Swords. Somebody spying, somebody really wanting to talk. This is about immature communication in one way or another. Somebody is watching and spying in some way or another. Let's have your romance messages to go with these. We have criticizing, and then we have take... Take your time. Don't work so hard. Then we have find the missing pieces through each other and embrace. So let's see. What do we have, Spirit, Holy Spirit? What do you have for Aries at this time? I'm utilizing the energies of the elements as well, air, fire, water, earth, ether. There is no question about that. I also call it, excuse me, my divine guides and your divine guides, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Uriel for strength and power. Archangels, Archangels Metatron, clarity, psychic vision, super consciousness, God consciousness. Here we go. So we have religious factors. Somebody sees things differently than you. Hmm. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing, spiritual path. So it could be that somebody's knocking somebody for the way they believe. Maybe you believe in esoterics and the person you're with is third dimensional or something. They don't, they're like, can't even see past their nose. Well, that doesn't make any sense. So here's the deal. You need to learn to let go of control issues on this matter, whoever you are. And embracing means that eventually, eventually there'll be a playful energy revealing itself for the mom. All right. Let's take a look now and see what the tarot says for my Aries. I'm using the vice versa tarot for your reading. They're so cool because you can flip them over. And you have the front and the back on each card. Really good cards. Aries. One more flip. Okay. Now I can shuffle, shuffle them. Oops, sorry. Show me Aries spirit. Show me. I'm going to do a five card spread for you and a five card spread for the person you're most in contact with at this time. In love. Aries. Aries, show us Aries. Show us Aries, please. Temperate. You're holding your tongue, man. You're like, well, I know what's going down. I don't know what your dealio is. That's what I'm getting. Temperance is like um, self-control personified in an angelic form. Keeping one foot in the emotional balance and one foot on the ground. Being esoteric, but also being grounded. That's what I'm seeing. Religious factors. Hmm. What's the, uh, what's the challenge here for my Aries? Aries, what's their, what is their biggest challenge at this time? Besides somebody criticizing their faith. And then spying on them or criticize. I don't know what it is, but somebody's like crit crit critiquing your lifestyle. Who the hell are they? We're going to find out. 
some religious person. Could be family, could be a spouse. Hmm. This is about someone's faith. This could be a Taurus. Aries has long had issues with Taurus because you move in a different way than them. They're slow and methodical. They like things to be the same all the time. They're like, a, what do you call the fixed energy? And you're not, man. You're, I think you guys are cardinal, aren't you? Mut, mut, mutable. So here we are. You have this faith card. You're standing up. Family, faith, religion, differences in religion, differences in faith. Someone's watching. You're like, uh, I want to hurry up and get this over with. Um, I just want to have peace. Why can't we have peace? What's the breakthrough for my Aries at this time? And I'll clarify everything. Breakthrough for Aries in August in love. Being able to pull back and get your get your business right with the divine. You don't have to explain this to anyone right now. It's not like they're going to put you in jail because you believe differently. Your relationship might shift. You're letting go of control issues going into your sacred uh, sacred place of peace and quiet. Give me a moment. Turning on the AC again because, oh my gosh, we just had a major downpour. It was like really sudden in Dallas. Very strange. I'm good with it. Aries. So there's this four of swords. Taking time to meditate and pray, making sure that you understand what your guides are saying to you. What is the Lord saying to you? What direction are you going? Is it the same as the other person? Because there will be divisions in family in the last days. We are in the middle of revelations after all. I mean, it's obvious. Um, all the signs are there. Okay, so Aries, my darlings, we have you resting and chilling out even though you're falling under accusation from somebody. What kind of crap is that? Well, it happens. You know, I, I have an atheist son and grandson. I don't like it. I pray for them always. And I don't bring my, try to stay out of their business, right? Here goes. What is the breakthrough? What is the advice for Aries in this situation that they find themselves? Jesus, man, your cards are crazy. They want to go crazy. They said, this is your advice. Now, this is a page of wands. Your own card, okay? It's your own card. It's your own energy. So what you're doing is like, <clears throat> instead of coming forward and trying to prove your point to somebody or offer something they're not ready to take, you're like, okay, well, I'll just chillax and I'll keep this phoenix rising to myself for now. What is the outcome for that decision for Aries? Incredible wisdom. Protecting the golden egg. Protecting the cosmic egg, protecting things, keeping a light on, he, you know, utilizing incredible wisdom and temperance. Man, you guys are hot to trot right now. You're like, no, do not cross that line. No, that's what I see. Let me use another deck. And let's take a look and clarify a couple things. One of them being the purpose of the higher front here. Okay, this is someone not talking to you or not making a, an offer of reconciliation because they don't think the way you do and they don't want to put any work in on the relationship. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yep. So they either went into hangman or you went into hangman. This is Pisces. So some of you are dealing with a Pisces and you're not in the same page with that Pisces right now. Why do we have the Four of Swords? We have the Queen of Cups. Mm. Now that could be you or that could be this Pisces. Went into a peaceful place too, letting go of control issues. Really? Is it a Pisces? Cancer, Scorpio? Clarify it. Holding back energy for sure. Yeah, that's uh, someone pulled back and they pulled back their heart and they pulled back their energy from someone so they could heal. There's a Taurus, I mean a Leo energy. It's Leo season. Yeah, it's family. So what you've done is either you or some family have pulled back because you're just not on the same page anymore. Why do we have the page of wands in reverse again? Clarify. Yeah, see? 
That's you keeping peace and keeping peace of mind. So you kind of like, nah, I'll just chill out and be wise right now. Nah, I'll see things for what they are. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Let's take a look at this person you're dealing with, spirit. I would like a revelation on who our wonderful Aries are dealing with. Um, and August, please, spirit, for the most part. It's a love reading, spirit. It's a love reading. Call, call in the energies. We want to know. Show us who this is. Another fire sign, perhaps, or someone that you work with. This is an Aries Leo Sagittarius. This is a very passionate, productive person, though. Very sexy. Very upfront. Not afraid to be themselves. Not afraid to show their true colors. I'll find out what she's up to. One minute. Put these on here. I'm going to take these off because we already know what this is. Okay. So we can see clearly what comes up. Tell me about this queen. What is her biggest challenge when it comes to this relationship with you? Aries, someone rising Venus, North Node. Her biggest challenge is waiting for an offer or on being unable to give one at this time. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Passionate, though. They're just pulling back an offer. <clears throat> Excuse me, why? I'll look at that in a minute. Tell me about their breakthrough in this relationship. The breakthrough is that will come when they finally get it together and realize that nothing from nothing leaves nothing, so you've got to have something, right, to be with an Aries. You can't pull this bullshit on an Aries. I don't care if it's family, friends, or lover. This person could be a, a Aries as well. I don't know. Damn, is it an Aries-Aries relationship? How bizarre. Yeah. Something ended. Something's wrong. It's This person has been through it. I mean, they have been through torture. Or they've done torture. <clears throat> and because of that, they need to have an out-of-body experience before they even have a clue of where you are spiritually. Whoever this is, they're kind of like battling you for faith. And you're like, wait a second. I don't care if you're family, friend, lover, husband, wife, sister, brother... You don't, can't tell me how to, how to feel about faith. <clears throat> you can't tell me how to, treat, how, to, how to look at divinity and God. It's not the way I've changed. I'm not the same. Outcome for that person. That person still has the blues. They're not in the full healing spectrum, which is the sun. So you have a Leo here who's um, not working correctly with you. Okay? They're just not. It is indeed a spouse to someone. Here's that Leo card. And they pulled back their heart. And that's why. And it is someone from your past, Six of Cups. Okay, they're trying to get over feeling lousy for what they've done. They came in, they came in real fast and said something and or did something very hastily, or somebody did, and they're they're like taking off. I'm not talking right now. Oh my God. Clarify spirit. This person's part of the, d the deal. Let's see this page of coins in reverse. Is withholding an offer, not having it to offer, um, not being able to offer it. Um, something like that, a relationship or a message. All right, yeah, see. Leo in reverse. Something has happened to this person and they're intimidated right now. Why are they intimidated? Because they can't bring back this relationship. Judgments in reverse. Judgments for revival. They want you so effing bad, but they can't because they don't believe the same way and they're still blocked. They're still blocked from understanding how precious it is what you have learned about the universe and faith and love. And so they go into this space, the Four of Cups, where they're like really not bringing anything good forward because they don't know good from bad at this moment. And more please. Yeah, the fool came out in reverse as well. So that means that they're feeling like they can't get a new start, whereas you're sitting here holding it down. They're spying. What else, please? Mm. Five, of, five of wands in reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They won't admit defeat. They won't admit that they brought nonsense to you and you just don't agree with it anymore. 
So you're holding back your energy so that you can revive. You've got the Four of Coins and the Four of Swords, and they have the Four of Cups. Let's see, what are the energies surrounding this relationship? I don't know who this is. Like I said, it could be you, them, a family. It's showing heavy family energy, but it doesn't have to be. Um, whoever this person is, they're not for you. I think you know it, and even being around them makes you ill because they're trying to distract you with emotional imbalance. Oh my God, did I say that? Yep, I did. And they wanted to co-create with you, but they were emotionally unbalanced. What else, please? Could be a female. You could be a male. Um, they did want to create with you, but they were a very, so she's definitely, definitely a female who's not feeling strong right now. And obviously there is a change in the wind. And I think you know that. Tell me more, please. There's mending to be done here. It says embrace through each other. You find missing pieces. I don't know what that means. Let's find out one more. Milk and honey. So maybe you are heading to something better. And you have a deep knowing about it. Yeah, I think so. You've come to the edge of a relationship. You're done with it. You just can't do any more with it. They understand now all that glitters is not gold. So whatever happened, whatever reason they were in this relationship with you or whatever their argument is, is the outcome's going to be peace because you know how to keep it. Yep, no doubt. That's what I got. Let's see, Aries, I think that's really cool. I mean, it's not like you're trying with somebody, but there's just so many differences. Now, there's somebody from the past wanting to make themselves known. But there's divine order in your in your energies in August, and there's no fooling the Lord. There's none. None at all. Uh, do what you feel is right, Aries. The important lesson is unfolding. Let's see what else, please. Who else guides them? Keepers of the light. Ancestor guidance. Oh, of course it is. Of course it is. Honor your ancestors. Connect to your lineage. A family wound or a pattern can be healed right now. <gasps> Whoa! Healing a family wound. You could be married to this person and then have that issue. Oh my God, you guys. Wow, what a reading. All right, sweethearts, hit the like button for me. And if you would, if you haven't subscribed, hit the all bell so you don't miss a thing. I got some energies coming in. And we'll see how it goes. I thank you for trusting me. Thank you for being good to me and bringing me blessings and your presence. That's important. Okay. If you want anything from me, you can go to my Etsy shop or my website. Otherwise, mm, namaste, my darlings. I send you off with knowledge. Bye, loves.